Hi everyone, welcome to Class Fit Sugar. I'm yoga instructor Sophie Jaffe and today I am so happy that you are here with me for a 20 minute yoga practice that will help relieve stress and get into a state of relaxation. This session is inspired by Yogi Elderberry Lemon Balm Immune Plus Stress Tea, a blend of herbs and spices that support immune health and stress response, which we could all use, right? All you need for this practice is a yoga mat, so let's get started. Okay, everyone, come down to your mat and find an easy seat. So whatever easy pose you want, Sukhasana, easy pose, cross your legs, bring one hand to your heart and one to your belly. And we're gonna start just closing our eyes. Feel your seat against the earth. Maybe notice any sounds around you. And start to focus on the breath with one hand on the heart and one on the belly. Feel your breath enter your lungs and exit your lungs. Deep breath in, filling up. Long breath out, exhaling it out of your mouth. Again, deep breath in, filling up everything. Try and get your breath to your belly. And then long breath out, releasing anything in your way. Continue with a few deep breaths on your own. Really filling up and really letting go out of that exhale. Start to notice what you notice. Maybe you feel your heart beating against your hand, the rise and fall of your belly, your legs and your booty against the ground, the ground so stable holding you. And now let's take the deepest breath you've taken in quite a while, definitely today. Deep, deep, deep breath in, filling all the way up and hold it at the top, don't let it go. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And stick out your tongue, lion's breath, let it go. I want you to set your intention for the practice. It can be physical, emotional, spiritual, psychological. It can be a color, a feeling you want to feel. Whatever your intention is, bring it in right here and now. And with every movement we make today in this practice, move from that intention. Plant it like a little seed. When you're ready, blink your eyes open. And let's move into all fours. So come to all fours, remembering your intention, staying really present to the sensations in your body. Plant your palms underneath your shoulders and then begin to move into some cat cows. So drop your heart, lift your eyes to the sky, arching your back, and then reverse it. Really looking down, finding your belly button, your belly with your eyes, pressing your hands deeply into the mat, really pressing the mat away, the ground away, and then reverse. And now we're gonna move intuitively. So you'll hear me say this a few times during practice. You're gonna move as quickly or as slowly as it feels good to your body, your unique body. Moving through some cats and cows, continuing to breathe, and trust your body, trust your intuition, and flow. Now I'm going to ask you to just start to move into some big, wide hip circles. You might hear some pops, that's okay. We don't want any pain, but some pops, are okay. Moving into these big wide hip circles, really moving so it feels good. We're following that, that feeling. Allowing yourself to feel some pleasure, some goodness, some joy, stretching into your hands. This isn't about how it looks, it's how it feels. So just moving around in your hips, opening up your hips. Good, one more deep breath in and deep breath out. Now coming onto our bellies, so just lower down onto your belly, onto your chest, and then just lower your forehead to the mat. 
just for a breath. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Coming into Cobra, your hands press into the mat, lifting up, drop your shoulders away from your ears, looking straight ahead into baby Cobra and lower everything back down. Let's do that two more times. Baby Cobra, lifting up, inhale, press the hands into the mat, lower your shoulders away, and come all the way down, exhaling into the mat. Last time, baby cobra, just stretching the upper back. Inhale, press your hands into the mat, lifting, and exhale all the way down. Press up and back into child's pose, and let's take a couple breaths here in child's pose. Lower your forehead to the mat. Stretch your fingers out long. Make this a more active child's pose. So your arms are actually flexed, your hands are into the mat, you're pressing into the mat, and remembering your intention here. Why am I practicing today? What do I need? What's my intention? How do I wanna feel? How do I wanna show up to my community, my friends, my family, my loved one? And most importantly, how do I wanna show up for myself? Good, coming up onto all four, all fours. <laughs> coming up onto all fours. We've been here before, so coming into tabletop. Lift your left arm in front of you in a handshake position and your right leg behind you. So coming into a balancing pose here. Just hang out here for a moment, just getting your balance. Without judgment, you might fall a little. If you fall, just get back up. So hanging out here, lift everything up, one more breath, and lower it down. Let's get the other side. Right hand up, handshake position in front of you and left opposite leg behind you. Just hanging out here, noticing what you notice. Staying curious. Good, lift everything up, inhale, and lower it down. We're gonna do a little bit of a core fun workout here. So left arm in front of you, handshake position, right leg behind you. You're gonna kiss your elbow to your knee. So bring it all in nice and tight and out. Do that five more times. Five, four, exhale as you crunch in, three, two, one, hold it all in, and let it go. Bring it down. You can wiggle your, leg, your booty back and forth, wiggle your booty back and forth, and opposite side. Right hand in a handshake position in front of you, left leg behind you, and crunch everything in, kissing your elbow to your knee at the midline, and send it all out. Exhale in and out for four, three, crunch it in, two, find your balance, one, hold it in, and let it all out and down. Good. So coming all the way down, we're going to come into to downward facing dog. So spread your fingers towards the front of the mat. Beautiful, so pressing back into your first downward dog of the practice. What I want you to do here is really explore your body. Be curious. Instead of just going into autopilot and going to that same down dog you always do when you go to yoga, play with your stance. Straighten your legs a lot and melt the heels towards the mat. Stretch your fingers out wide. Maybe play with the feet where your feet go. Maybe they go wider to the widest edges of your mat. Play with your own poses and postures instead of just doing what you always do. Shake your head left and right, left and right. Pedal the knee, the legs out, left and right. Good, and when you're ready, lift the right leg up with me. Rotate the ankle and come into some intuitive movements here. So maybe you move into some big wide hip circles. Maybe you keep it a little bit smaller. Just exploring the right side, the right hips, the ankle, and then lower that down next to left foot. Left leg rises and start to explore the left hip, the ankle, come into some knee circles, some hip circles exploring the left side of the body. Take a deep breath in and lower that foot next to right. 
Good, holding downward dog for a moment. Look up towards the front of your mat and just figure out how to get there. You can walk, you can hop, you can float. And then once you're at the front of your mat, make sure your, your feet are about hip width distance apart. And just in forward fold, take a deep breath in and out. Put your hands on your shins or on the floor and lift up halfway. Exhale, release down, forward fold. Bring your left hand to the mat, right under your face, and just open up the right arm and follow with your gaze. Take a micro bend in your left knee, and you should feel this in the back of your right leg. Good, reverse it down. So just drop your right hand under your face, left arm lifts up to the sky, let your eyes follow to the sky and a micro bend in the right knee. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Bring both arms in front of you. And now grab opposite elbows and just forward fold here. But I want you to let this be, you can even widen your stance a little bit more and bend your knees a little. This is much more free, just float, fluid, flowing through. I like actually bringing a, a really big bend in my knees just so I can really kind of play and feel safe, not that I'm gonna fall. So just letting your head go letting anything negative just pour out of your head. Deep breath in, swing left and right. Deep breath out. Bring both hands behind your low back and take a shoulder stretch with me. So stretching the arms long, stretching into your shoulders. Again, micro bend or big bend in your knees to protect you. And just stretch out your shoulders and say thank you shoulders for all the work you do. And then release it all down. Toe heel, your feet back together. Inhale halfway. Exhale, step back and take a vinyasa. So this is up to you. You can come down onto your knees and lower, make it more restorative and lower down onto your chest. Inhale, baby cobra. You can also just come into a plank and then from plank, lower all the way down, and then up into cobra, or you can take an up dog if your back is ready. And then coming into downward dog. Good, deep breath here. Let it go. Let's take a moment just to remember our intention, the feeling we want to feel, and let it go. Walk the hands back to meet the feet. And again, swaying left and right, left and right. Okay, drop your hands down. You're gonna take your hands into your hip creases and then come all the way up with a flat back, looking forward, looking forward to standing. Inhale the arms up overhead and you're gonna sit in a chair. So sitting in chair pose, Hold this for just a moment. Really lower down. You're sitting in a kindergarten chair here. And lift the arms up by your ears. Sit down a little bit lower. And we're gonna come into 10 pulses. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand all the way up, come onto your tippy toes and come all the way down, swan dive down, and walk your hands forward, engaging your core as you walk forward, and then coming into forearm plank. So lower onto your forearms, hold forearm plank here, take a deep breath in, and a long breath out. From here, we're gonna do some hip dips. So you're gonna drop your right hip down to the ground, and then lift everything up like you're going around a rainbow, you're creating a rainbow, and then a left hip down. So right, up and over, left. Up and over, right, up and over, left. Good, creating that rainbow with your booty, lifting up from your core, using all of your abdominal muscles, up and over for three, two, one. Come all the way down. Okay, good job. Take a little cobra here. From baby cobra, all I want you to do is flip over. So just flip over so you're on your back. 
And just to release any tension that we've created, I want you to bring your knees into your chest and give yourself a little hug. So you can bring your hands to your knees and rocking side to side. You can even separate your knees a little bit more with your hands on your knees. Come into some circles, some wide circles, some small circles, intuitively figuring out what does my body need in this moment? What is my lower back feeling? How can I give it a little bit of love and support? Beautiful. Okay, so now release your feet down. Your knees are bent and your feet are planted into the mat. You wanna be able to scratch the backs of your heels, so that's how close you want for distance. And we're gonna come into bridge pose. So lift everything up, lift your hips up, release your booty, you don't wanna clench anything here, but lift your hips up and then clasp your hands underneath your low back. You've got a nice clasp in your arms, lifting everything up. Go ahead, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, let it go. Release everything down. Windshield wiper your legs left and right, left and right. Beautiful, perfect. So if you practice wheel at home, by all means, go ahead and take a wheel. If not, we're gonna go in through another bridge. So lifting everything up, bring your hands underneath your low back and clasp them. And really send energy out from your heart all the way out, your knees straight out towards the sky. Good. This should feel amazing on your shoulders. Let's all take a deep breath in together and let it go. Deep breath in and long breath out. Release it all down. Again, windshield wiper your knees left and right, or you can come back into those circles, giving yourself a hug. Okay, let's go into happy baby. So take your hands and bring them to the outsides of your feet. And here you can do a couple different things. You know what I'm gonna say, move intuitively. So you can move left and right here, you can sway, you can take your left foot and hold it in for half happy baby, almost like a bow and arrow, and straighten the right leg. This is a very nice deep stretch for the leg. And then you can go into the opposite. So holding half happy baby, your right foot tucked in, your left leg out strong and long. And then you can come back to the swing of happy baby. You can also hold happy baby statically. This always feels really good too. Nice, deep hip opener. Beautiful, now let's come into a side stretch. So whatever variation you like here. I personally am pretty flexible, so I like to cross one leg over the other for a side stretch, drop the knees over, and then just bring my gaze to the other side. If that feels like too much, you can just stack the legs and lower them down. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in. And let it go. Deep breath in. Let it go. Bring your knees towards center and just take whatever you did on that side onto the other side. Good, drop your knees to one side and your gaze and your arm go to the other direction. And let's take a couple really nice deep breaths here. Filling up your heart, your belly, your lungs. And exhale everything, let it go. This time, take an audible breath. An audible inhale, really inhaling. And then an audible exhale, making a sound, let it go. Bring everything back to center. Give yourself a nice big hug. Hug, 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 hug. Say something nice to yourself. And release it all, let it go. Final resting pose, Shavasana. releasing everything into the mat. Feeling the support of the ground underneath you. And if you notice a thought come into your body, a thought come into your mind, just release it. You'll come back to it later. 
just let it go for now. Enjoy these last few moments to yourself. And let's just do a little body scan. So from the tip, tip, tip of your toes, move that scanner the whole way up to the top of your head. And just see where can I just bring a little bit of breath, a little bit of relaxation, and let something go. What am I holding on to? Bring energy to that place of tension, somewhere you might be holding on something maybe tender, maybe there's an emotion you're holding on to, and just give it permission to go. You don't need it any longer. Move that body scanner up and down, your whole system, and give whatever it might be that you're holding on to permission to let go. Fully surrendering into the mat. Fully, fully letting go. And when you're ready, just wiggling your fingers and your toes ever so lightly. and pressing yourself up with one hand. Keep your eyes closed. Coming back into that first easy pose, Sukhasana. Your eyes are closed. And let's come back, one hand to the belly and one to the heart. Bringing some deep breaths into your system and noticing the difference in your stress, in your energy, in your whole body and just giving yourself a positive affirmation, a positive thought. Thank you for showing up, noticing how good you feel now and relaxed. Just saying thank you. A little bit of gratitude for the ability to slow down. When you're ready, you can blink your eyes open. Thank you so much for joining me today. I can feel the stress and tension of the day just melting away. This workout was brought to you by Yogi Tea. See you next time on Class Fit Sugar.